I'm trying to avoid the wind and the microphone. Right now, we could see at the back of the Port Rogers Center. As I mentioned, if you came an hour ago, uh, the roof was open and was so beautiful. Uh, Rogers Center, the original name is Sky Dome. Why is that? Because this is our stadium, but that stadium, it happened to have a roof. And the roof is of a shape of, uh, in the shape of a dome. Uh, this is the first fully retractable roof in the whole world. It means you could close or open the roof in only 20 minutes. It was opened uh, an hour ago. So the year they opened Rogers Center or Sky Dome, it was 1989. At that time and point, the cost of opening the electricity, of opening and closing the roof was only $10. Let's say right now, after the inflation is around uh, $30 or $40, Sky Dome uh, primarily was open or built for baseball and concerts. The most famous baseball team here are the Blue Jays. And also the capacity is 48,000 people. But in 2002, we host over here 67,678. Anybody could guess or think why people were very interested that year? Somebody is thinking, I like that. <laughs> okay, and instead of 48,000 plus, in the year 2002, we were 67,678 because we had WrestleMania 18. WrestleMania, any English speaker here? You understand WrestleMania, people wrestling, the non-English, the wrestling and jumping and screaming and making a whole fuss. So obviously that year and that time people were very interested. Now I'm gonna have a question to you. If you look to Roger Center, uh, inside the roof while it's closed, it's a picture, it's a picture on a video. <laughs> It's really that you could have an airplane uh, so near like this to you. So, Rogers Center, while you look to uh, the, the center now, you could fit inside a 31 story building, a building that is 31 story height. Now, the question in the year 1992, they set a world, world record, a world record of the maximum hot air balloons. How many hot air balloons do you think you could fit in Rogers Center while the roof is closed? Anybody want to just guess for fun? Hot air balloons, you know the hot air balloons? You know what I'm talking about, hot air balloons? The one you fly in the sky with it? How many you think? Anybody want to share for fun? How many? How much? Can't hear you. Three? Five, 50, okay, five, zero, thank you. Very smart, anybody else? Anybody else? One it's very near to the number, anybody want to give us? Oh. One million. One million? One million hot air balloons. Oh. I love that, that's good of imagination. <laughs> I like imagination, like an artist. One thousand. How many you think? One thousand. Seventy-four, very smart, okay. One more person? How many hot air balloons you think? Hot air balloons, not the small balloons. How many you could fit inside Roger's center? No one want to try? Okay, can we give a hand to all those people who participate, please? Give them a hand, guys. Can you clap for them, please? Come on, come on. Clap for them, come on. <laughs> Be generous when you clap for somebody. One day somebody will clap for you, too. So in 1992, they could fit in 42 hot air balloons. Very near for what the lady said. You deserve, yeah, both of you are smart. She said 50, it's 42 hot air balloons. And right now, I will talk to you about CN Tower. Who already visited CN Tower? Can you wave for me? Wow. We have a big bunch of people, that's nice. Five times. Five times, five times. wow, that's good. Okay, so that's a good time if you want to take a picture for CN Tower. Uh, you're taking the picture here from the water better than the one you take from the ground.
Since you visited five times, you're going to help us with the information. So, CN Tower or Canadian National Tower uh, was completed in 1976 for $63 million. This is the symbol of Canada and it's also the tower signature icon of Toronto skyline and it's a crown jewel. It is also one of the modern seven wonders of the world. Uh, CN Tower attracts more than 2 million international visitors each year and for 32 years it had the records of the world's tallest freestanding structure. Currently is the third tallest freestanding tower in the whole world behind Tokyo Sky Tree in Japan and Canton Tower in China. So when you look to the building uh, you see that white bulging part. This is just decoration. If you come here after sunset, this is just have light. And also the core of the building, they have light. They use uh, those lights like any other tower when we're celebrating any special event. They change the lights accordingly. At the top of the white bulging part, we can see that circle, windows like circle. This is the rotating restaurant. It means the restaurant rotates 360 degrees so people would dine and be able to see the whole city. At the top of the restaurant, you can see the observation deck. On the observation deck, when you go part of it, the, 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 uh, the, the floor is glass, so people would see the whole city from that glass floor. At the top of that, we could see that area where it has the orange rim. This is the top one, this is the edge rock. The edge rock is the world's highest external rock. I was hoping in 